Today we launched a report with the Open Society Foundations of examples of good practice of police working with, in collaboration with HIV programs. In, in most circumstances, or in many circumstances, particularly in developing countries, the police have been part of the problem. In the, they, their behaviours in, in targeting uh, populations at risk of HIV have led to increased um, or decreased access to services, to prevention and treatment and care services, and increased HIV incidence. Uh, I've seen the abuses that, that police carry out uh, against injecting drug use, against homeless people, against marginalised communities in lots of different countries. And there's, there's much research, there's a large body of literature on the impact of these policing practices on the HIV epidemic and the fact that targeting injecting drug users and taking syringes, targeting sex workers and taking condoms or using condoms as evidence of, of prostitution uh, under criminal uh, uh, acts and so on. There's plenty of, of, of literature, plenty of evidence that these police practices promote the transmission of HIV, drive people away from treatment care, um, prevention services and increase risk for those vulnerable communities. This is changing and we're starting to see more and more police individual police and police agencies um, start to be, form partnerships with HIV programs and with civil society. This in turn is starting to have an um, uh, uh, impact on policy. Police are important determinants of policy because they report back what is coming from the front line, what they have to deal with. And uh, policy that does not take into account the, um, the, the knowledge and the experience and the understanding of police is not going to be successful. So increasingly around the world, this is, uh, we are bringing police into, into this fight for human rights, for evidence-based policing practice, for humane policy, all of it uh, aimed at, at increasing the rights of the populations at risk of HIV and decreasing uh, the HIV epidemic. Oh,